Good morning. When I was young, I had a pretty good relationship, personal relationship with what I considered to be God. And then when my dad died, I was 12, and I got really angry at God. And I said some pretty horrible things about God and about religion and about belief and faith. And after 11 years, I found my way back through my own personal journey and learned my own way of understanding what God is and how God works and the whole idea of love and law and life. So I just want to speak, hopefully briefly, about the abuse of religion. This past week we heard someone in a position of what he thinks is power. He will soon learn what power looks like, but um, a person who thinks he's in a position of power speaking as a, represent as a representative of God, speaking words from the Bible, the New Testament, using those words as a defense to abuse children, separate them from their families, terrorize them, and do something akin to what was done in Nazi Germany. And he used the Bible to justify this. Out of context, a quote that really didn't, didn't really matter in this situation. What he forgot was that the Bible the Hebrew Bible, sometimes known as the Old Testament, and everything that Jesus said talks about welcoming the refugee, welcoming the stranger, bringing the stranger in, being kind to the stranger because you don't know who the stranger might be, being kind to the stranger because it might be an angel in your midst, doing the most for the least of these. All of this is what the Holy Bible is actually filled with. People who cherry pick the Bible, like Leviticus especially, they'll use Leviticus to say that gay people shouldn't get married while they stand there with tattoos and eating shrimp cocktail and wearing mixed threads. Any holy book can be cherry picked. Any religion can be dissected and used to your advantage. And Annie Lamott has a quote, I'm, I'm not gonna get it exactly right, but it's something about, you can pretty much guarantee that you've created God in your own image if God hates the same people that you do. Any religion can be twisted to serve an evil purpose. Just like any human, even good humans, can be twisted to serve an evil purpose. So what do we focus on? We focus on what Mr. Rogers taught. We look for the helpers. We focus on the way Helen Keller viewed the world, which was that there's, of course, atrocities going on and there's also beauty going on. We focus on the way Tennessee Williams could see the world as violent and pain-filled and also filled with miracles and beauty. We continue and continue and continue to look for ways to find light and love in this world. And without question, we call out those who would try to to, to extinguish that light, who would try to dissuade us from seeing that light. We look to those who speak truth to power, who speak truth to the lies. We look to those who would stand up in courage. I read this week about a woman who was on a bus in California and it was headed to towards the border, but it wasn't at the border. And the bus driver stopped the bus and said, immigration's coming on, 
to check documentation on everyone on this bus. And this one woman said, that's illegal. We're not 100 miles from a border. That's illegal, you can't do that. Come on, Maddie, let's walk. And when the, when, when the immigration officers got on the bus and demanded people's paperwork, this woman stood up and started screaming. This is illegal. You don't have to show them anything. They cannot ask you for anything. This is not legal. Do not be afraid and do not give in to these people. And the border patrol guys or the ice guys or whatever they were backed down because she was right. And they were like, oh, okay, forget it and the bus traveled on. She said the woman next to her didn't speak English and was terrified and just sat there, like almost in tears with gratitude for this woman, this one woman who said no. So it's gonna be on us, folks. It's gonna be on us. It's gonna be the people who are awake and conscious, the ones who remember the 30s in Germany, the ones who had family or friends, the ones who studied it, it's going to be up to us, the ones who understand how this works, the ones who know that crops aren't being picked by white males, they're being picked by immigrants, that no jobs are being stolen by anyone. It's up to us to speak truth to the lies. And it's up to us to call people out when they abuse God in their mission of hate. I hope you'll stand with me. I will stand with you. We've got work to do. We got work to do and we can do it together. I hope you have a good Saturday and just know that <laughs> We truly are all walking each other home. We are not alone. Sending you much peace.